Welcome to week 14 of your pregnancy, mama. You are in the second week of your second trimester. And with this new week, you have new things happening with your body and with your baby's body. I'm Bridget Tyler. I'm a childbirth educator and birth doula and a mama to two with a third on the way. And I believe pregnancy and birth can be one of the most empowering seasons of your life. So if you want to be informed, empowered, and excited about your pregnancy, birth, and postpartum, make sure you have subscribed to this channel and you hit the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos that come your way. Now let's jump into week 14. Baby right now is about the size of a peach and weighs about one and a half ounces or 45 grams, which is about the weight of a slice of sourdough bread. They are growing hair on their body, which is called lanugo, which serves as a protective coat for them and keeps them warm as they grow. They'll likely be born with this thin covering of hair, especially if they're born on the earlier side of the timeline. Their facial muscles are strengthening and they're starting to make little expressions with their face that can sometimes be picked up on an ultrasound, although unless you're higher risk, you're likely not getting ultrasounds at this point in your pregnancy. But it's very cute to know that they're smiling in there and making funny faces as they're growing in your womb. Baby's legs, feet, and toes are formed and their toenails are growing, and as their legs and arms keep getting stronger, their movement becomes a lot more powerful and distinct. In fact, this week is actually when I started feeling my third baby move in my belly. For my first two, I didn't feel it till much later in my pregnancy, so don't worry if you're not feeling anything yet. But as you become more aware of the sensations of pregnancy, especially the more babies you have, you might pick up on the sensations a little bit sooner and feel those kicks and punches earlier. Now for you mama, as your baby and belly grow, you might start experiencing round ligament pain. The round ligament is like a rope of connective tissue between your uterus that holds your baby and your pelvis, which sits under your uterus. And as your uterus grows, that ligament has to stretch. And sometimes it creates what's called round ligament pain, especially when you make sudden movements like turning around or rolling over or bending down. The sensation is usually this intense, sharp pain, usually on one side of your belly, but it can be both. That is sometimes momentary or lasts for a few minutes. Now to help with round ligament pain, you wanna stay hydrated because when tissues aren't properly hydrated, it actually makes them more resistant to stretching, which often results in pain. You want to move mindfully and slower than usual when it comes to turning around, bending over or twisting, keep exercising. And when you're experiencing that round ligament pain, you can relieve it with a pressure point. So if you find your hip bone, which is a sharp, jutting out bone on your hip and then your pubic bone and you go about halfway in between that point, you'll be able to find the place to apply some firm but gentle pressure or kind of massage in a circular motion to relieve the discomfort from the round ligament pain. Lastly, now is the time to start filling your mind with positive birth stories. Your mind is so powerful when it comes to birth and so many women don't know that a beautiful empowering birth is so possible for them. One of the best ways to prepare for your own birth is by metaphorically sitting at the feet of women who've had these beautiful positive birth experiences and listening and learning from their real life stories. The Built to Birth podcast is a great place to start listening to those positive birth stories and I've linked that down below and there are also some beautiful birth videos that you can watch. I'll link some of those down below, my own included, and some books if that's more down your alley. Start filling your mind with those positive birth stories, mama. Some will bring you to tears of joy and they'll start filling you with excitement for your own upcoming birth. So thanks for being with me in this video, mama. I'll see you in week 15.